Welcome to a special episode of Historical Mysticals is what I think we're calling this. Um, I like that. We are here to have a fun one-shot time in a random alternate history universe of my creation that I'm subjecting these lovely players to. Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying. Honestly, it's it's all going to be fine. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. Personally, but our characters. <laughs> not fair. I didn't have insight any check. That. Do we have? Yeah. No, we. You don't have insight checks in this, ha <laughs> uh, Because we're playing Monster of the Week and uh, not D and D. We're back at it again with Monster of the Week um, because that's my wheelhouse that I like to exist in. Um, so these lovely players are going to be playing monster hunters, and the whole goal is to find some monsters and kick some ass. So that's. That's what we're going to try and do here today. Who's going to survive? <laughs> That's kind of up to me. And also them. But <laughs> um, Our overlord. I, I'm a keeper. I'm your keeper for this evening. That's my very non-threatening title. And it'll be fine. It'll be super fun. Um, we want to go around and just say hello and names because we have a very exciting new face with us for this awesome one shot. <laughs> I don't remember the order of who is where in our little fun overlay. So popcorn style, whoever wants to say their name first and just say hi, because I'm Jackie. I'm your keeper. I'm yeah. I'm Ian. I'm playing Sasha again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Hello, I am Scott and I am playing Adric. Uh, hello, I am Abby, and I am playing Krutova. And hello, I am Ashley, and I am playing Zadia. If you notice, one of those names sounds familiar, and none of the others do, because, surprise! It's prequel time! We're mm -hmm. having, not really flashback time, but like some <laughs> flashback time. If you wanted to know where our lovely Russian doctor who just really didn't have time for anyone's shit in the last game. And came really from water. It, it's going to be great. It's going to be super fun. And um, ghosts. And ghosts. Now, Sasha's a little different this time. Uh, Sasha has a slightly different role earlier in his life. Um, and Ian, if you would be so kind as to roll your super special Destiny's Plaything role, yes, we absolutely. will see... What happens? <laughs> Woo! All right. All We're right. off to a great start. And rough. <laughs> this is great. So, Sasha's hunter type this time uh, is chosen one. The chosen one, our lovely chosen, which means I get to do fun things at the beginning just for Sasha. <laughs> and, you know, on a 10 plus, I was going to reveal useful details about the upcoming mystery. Oh, no, don't do that. On a 7 to 9, you, you would have gotten a vague hint. Anything lower and something bad is going to happen to this you. This is oh, very no. in line. Oh, no. It's honestly, really tracks. <laughs> yeah, um, really, really tracks. So before we get started into the actual full story, I have to, I have to give Sasha some information. Um, and everyone else can be along for the ride as fellow audience members, as Sasha is about to have a vision. So bad. Sasha, mm -hmm. you've been serving on the Letun, this Russian battleship. For a number of months now. Almost Member a year. of the Yeah, almost a year. And it's it's kind of boring. You're a combat medic, you're in the Russian naval infantry, and really when you're not at port, you get a lot of scut work. And that's what you're doing tonight. Uh you sit with a pile of supplies in front of you. The ship's doctor has once again made you do the inventory work for the evening of all the remaining medical supplies. Dr. Krasnov has only gotten grouchier as you remain at sea, and the scut work's boring, but it's kind of meditative. You, you've done this so many times now that it's just kind of muscle memory. <clears throat> you're stacking bandages, you're counting plasters, 
noting what needs to be restocked once you eventually reach port. And there's a drone in the background as the doctor is dictating his notes, which is also fairly familiar. Uh, it's kind of soothing. He's very methodical. You blink once. You blink twice. Your hands go still. It's the doctor's voice stopping that jolts you. Uh, you may have fallen asleep a little bit, and his voice is cut off in the middle of a sentence. He has a nice St. Petersburg accent, and it's fallen into the void, and a slight ringing is now in your ears. You try and shake your head, but it's it's too heavy. There's a buzz setting in behind your eyes. You hear a thud, and you look down, and you notice red seeping on the metal floor under you. There's blood pooling in globs under your feet. You turn around very quickly, and you see the beds of the infirmary behind you that had patients are covered in blood, the patients deathly still. The doctor stands mouth open in a scream, and that's when you notice them. There are men in faded blue uniforms standing over each of the infirmary beds, guns drawn. They look drawn, they look angry, their eyes are bloodshot. One of them turns and points his gun at you. He makes eye contact with you and looks at the room where everyone is held very still. He looks, makes eye contact with you, and shakes his head just slightly. And that's when the doctor runs and you hear the shot. And he falls dead. And that's when the hands reach up and grab your ankles through the floor. And then you wake up. The doctor is standing over you, looking very stern. You have gauze still in your hand, and you've accidentally stabbed yourself with one of the needles. Uh, he is glaring now fully as he notices this, and he goes, Sasha! Dr. Krasnov! Are you being cl clutched again? We are wasting supplies. Throw out that needle. Clean up your station. <laughs> Falling what the job. I'm writing this up in your file. I'll be informing the <laughs> The third time this week, Sasha. I expect extra duty tomorrow night. Again! Again. I'm tired! I'm... <sighs> We're all tired. The Russian Navy. D Deal with it, Sasha. I managed not to fall asleep. I'll see you tomorrow. And he dismissed. Oh, hold, hold on. Hold on. It's, I, I look behind me at like all the, the, the patients. They're fine. Everyone's, everyone's all right? Of course they're all right. Balkan has diarrhea, of course, again. We've got a few cases of pneumonia. And, you know, one shattered kneecap. They're fine. We've been at sea. Yes, sir. No one's yes, fallen sir. off. We're fine. Are you all right, Sasha? Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm all right. Noted. You're dismissed. And you leave the room. And that's your evening. Other bad things will happen, according oh, to that. Sure. It'll be great. It'll be fun. <laughs> you keep yeah. saying that. It's, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to have fun. I'm having a great time. This is no. horrifying. <laughs> Lovely. Um, now, for the rest of you, that was Sasha's evening. Uh, and... Most of these days on the ship is fairly straightforward. You're out in the cold North Sea, sailing in open water. There, the sun has risen, the morning is over, but the ship's oddly quiet. It has been for days. Lunch is being served earlier today than normal because there's been some grumbling amongst the crew. There's chattering in Russian, and it's quiet and it's worried. The destroyer they let him has moved off course as far as anyone knows, and the captain has been silent as to why. No one has heard exactly why you're out here, but he's ordered you to stop. And you've been stopped here for two days, and it's been 
a little nerve wracking. It's 1916 and the Great War is raging on in Europe. Russia has been fighting with less and less vigor, and rumors are circulating as to whether or not the Tsar is even going to last much longer. But out at sea, just the ship and only the crew, and the crew is eating lunch in a small mess hall on board. Uh, This place is cramped enough for you can get, for those of you not in the officer's mess, uh, a bowl of food and bread. And you could eat in the mess or you could eat back in the bunk. Uh, There's a mix of men and women jostling for food. and Off in one corner is the officer's mess, where light music is being played. Adric, would you like to introduce? Uh, You see in the far corner, kind of ducked away, it's almost like light doesn't, even though it's the afternoon and the, you know, there are lights on and light comes through the porthole, the windows where they are. The light doesn't seem to catch, whether it's by luck or by intention this person is sitting in the shadows uh, with a, a a piano an upright piano in the corner um, long uh, dark dark uh, suit jacket white shirt black tie pale skin very dark uh, features hair stubble um, long face severe looking uh, these long fingers kind of gently dancing across the piano as he sits there kind of rocking a little back and forth as he plays this kind of slow, gentle, a little too, a little too sad tune for a, for a lunch, um, a lunchtime meal perhaps, but pleasant nonetheless. Um, Kind of long and spidery, almost in his movements, as he as he plucks at at, at uh, the the ivories, um, and uh, uh, you see Adric Ad, Adric Adric I think it's Adric um, there uh, playing as he kind of leans back and forth. Um, presumably, at some point, he's going to cock an eye open and uh, check to. St- kind of prepare to lead in and, and time with uh, his compatriot on for music. Yes, his lovely compatriot. Zarya, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, Thatcher, that introduction. Um, yeah, so Zarya is kind of light and in contrast to Adric's kind of sultriness she's very graceful and there's something very warm about her um and just very soothing and she's just kind of gently leaning against against the piano but then every once in a while we'll just gently kind of put her hand on Edric's shoulder um kind of affectionately and just getting into the music despite the cold you know shivers but then as soon as she engages in the music it's like she and Adric just have this weird language to each other just the way that they interact with the music the officer's mess is calm it's very the music filters out but the rest of the mess hall isn't so nice and lovely and that's where I believe we'd find our other two uh, in its middle of the afternoon, uh, uh, where do we find Krutova? Uh, Krutova is probably, uh, just grabs food and is sitting in, in one of this, the tables. And, uh, she's wearing a, uh, very ill-fitting, uh, officer's uniform. And it looks like it was probably a couple sizes too big for her. And it's like a little bit messy, a little bit uh, 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 wrinkly. And um, she kind of sits there and there's uh, she's kind of playing with her her cutlery, just like tapping it on the on the on the table. Um, You see on her hands, there's there's bandages uh, in various places. And um, she looks like she's trying to think of something. She's trying to plot. And this annoying music is stopping that from happening. (laughs) The slow and sad. Um, so, I mean, she'll probably just uh, 
she decides that I think now would be a good time. Does she see uh does she see Sasha anywhere? Sasha, where are you? So is this is this before or after the vision that just happened? This is the next day. Okay. Um yeah, Sasha's around. He's probably sitting at a different table than Kratova. Um and is like pretty deliberately not looking anywhere near her. Okay, perfect. Then as I as she taps her cutlery on the table, she's just going to stab herself. And then go, oh no! And then look over to Sasha. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Again? I, I just am such a klutz. I don't know. It's the uh, my sea legs haven't. It's been so such a terrible time on the water lately. So she like looks around like where the fuck is Doctor Krasnov? Where is he? Where is he? You do see Doctor Krasnov, who is sitting at the other end of the officer's mess in a, a kind of like heads bowed together discussion with the first officer and he her, hears Krustova go oh no <laughs> and he looks up and he just looks at you and smiles and is like your problem now Sasha <laughs> I I act faint and I fall towards him oh <laughs> still like across the room see him like <laughs> I stumble a few feet <sighs> closer Okay, okay, okay. Can someone stop giving her knives? I, you I hear an officer pipe up and go, This is the Navy. We're part of the military. We have to have knives, Sasha. Like a kitchen knife. She keeps stabbing her. I walk up to her and I, grab her I, wrist I think and I just start dragging her. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? Oh, thank you so much, Sasha. You're so no, such a no. help. Don't thank me. Why do you keep doing this? It's I don't know. I'm just I'm so bad with the knives. I'm just such a, I don't know how I got into the military. How did you get into the military? That really is the question. I have no idea. It's almost like I was made for something else. What do you think your future is going to be like after this? You're going to settle Bad. down? Mm. Have a home? Maybe like... Quite left. <laughs> Good over. Listen, you are yeah. very sweet. But you yeah. have got to stop stabbing yourself with knives that is not becoming. Hey, I, what? Why would I be doing it on purpose? Why would I hurt my. This is my the skin? fourth time this week, Kotova. Oh, you know. I, the I, third I, night in a row. Do I, see, do I see the bandage on his hand? Did you bandage yourself after the needle? No, I mean, it was just a needle, so it just like... Oh, so it's it's fine? Okay. Yeah. There's maybe okay. like a tiny scab there if you want to uh, like <laughs> peer at it. Well, you're hold- <laughs> he's, he's holding a wrist, so she'd probably be like, oh, we'll see. We, we are the same, you know? So clumsy. Maybe together, you know, two wrongs, they make a right. We maybe not so clumsy. <laughs> Krutal, but do you have, like, weird manic bloody visions and then stab yourself? Do no, you? I did not think so. Let's go. Excuse me? All right. <laughs> <laughs> As you're causing quite this scene, uh, you all are drawing some attention and some laughs. Uh and you hear the door of the main mess open. Oh, Sasha and... was like walking as he was talking, like dragging her out oh, of the room. Oh. But yeah, as you're as you're dragging her towards the door, you're almost like hit in the face with it as someone bursts open with the door. And you actually see a young man, um, Sasha. You recognize him, Kurtova. You probably recognize him as well as an engineer um, of the ship. This is uh, Dmitry Sidorov, and he looks 
awful. His eyes are wide open. He looks like he's been sweating more than the engineers usually sweat, stuck down in, with the steam. Um, his, his jacket is torn, and it's almost like someone's been yanking at it. And he looks at you and clearly doesn't see you, and then turns to the rest of the room and shouts, Help! There's a stowaway! They're attacking in the engineering room! And then he faints. But I'm just gonna try to catch him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know what? Under pressure. Okay, okay. Good That's the that. first roll of the game. Cool. First roll of okay. the game. Oh, well, there was the other Ooh. terrible roll. Yes. <laughs> well, oh, well, we you need the other one. That. <laughs> Bad time. Oh, no. Nadia oh, would be I'm rushing over, by the way. Don't I every time I fail? Okay. Oh, boy, two already. Rad, awesome. You definitely, you have like one hand on Krutova and then you start reaching for him and you just miss. And he, Do I pull Krutova down? Uh, yeah, you know what? As you're like leaning forward, you pull both of you, stumbling um, as this guy just hits the ground pretty hard and the rest of the mess hall is like briefly silent and then it just erupts into a lot of noise as people are like, what, a stowaway, is he all right? And people start, like, chattering amongst themselves, and a few people are standing up and looking around. Uh, but if nobody is listening to the music anyways, and I get up to, to follow Zarya um, and uh, uh, run over to see what, what's going on. Stop grumbling, Adric. You know we've got to keep an eye on things. This, is, this could be it. This could <sighs> be it. Sasha, yes, Sasha, yes. Uh, is everything okay? Are, are you okay? And what did you see? Okay. Have either of you two <laughs> talked to me before? <laughs> Not me. I weirdly dote on you sometimes and give you bread okay. sometimes okay. and stuff. For right. like, <laughs> just like stow away, like just kind of keep some. <laughs> Sasha's like got one hand over his nose that just hit the floor. He's like, oh, uh, 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 Miss Zaria, um, he just collapsed. Um, I'm gonna try to check his pulse and like make sure he's still alive. He is still alive. His heart is beating. Like it. It mm. looks like he has maybe been running his way up here. Uh, you know the engine room to be on the second level of the ship. Um, because that's where you can climb the catwalks down further. Um, around the 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 steam turbine, and it looks like he has literally tried to sprint his way up a couple of ladders and then down the hallway. Um, so he's, his heart rate's a little going and his eyes are kind of rolling under his eyelids, but he's, he's out. Well, I am a medic first and foremost, so my first concern would be getting him to the sick bay. Um, yeah, you also see that the doctor is standing up and, and coming towards you. Um, yeah. As he's noticed oh. that this man has passed out and Krasnov kind of shoulders his way through the crowd. He goes, Sasha, is the boy all right? He's alive. He seems exhausted, panicking. All right. That's, he's a little excitable. I'm, what was he yelling about? Uh, something about a, a stowaway. A stowaway? That started attacking people. And, um... We might want to go check for more injured people. Yes, the end. But I don't see any of the other engineers. Yes, that's fine. Uh, and he kind of snaps his fingers and uh, looks back towards the officers' mess, um, where f the first off officer, uh, Chernevsky, is standing and kind of surveying the scene. He's got kind of one eyebrow raised and looks at all of you, and he goes, "You two. And he points to two of the officers kind of, like, hovering near you. Carry that boy to the sick bay. Grasnov with them. Check this boy. Uh, Krutova. Sasha. Oh. Yes, sir. Eric. Yes, Go sir. down to the engine room. Check on things. May I grab my, my med kit first, sir? Yes. And if come. you find anyone... Bring them to me. I'll be in the captain's quarters. But if there is a stowaway, subdue them. 
preferably. I'd like to question them. And yes, sir. Go. Yes, sir. I'll walk with you a little bit, Adrik, just to get to where you're going. Krutova, hello. Hello. Sasha's going to take off sprinting for the med bay to get his, his kit and then sprint back to wherever they are if they don't follow him. Yeah, uh, you know, all of you know where the engine room is. It's the largest room in the ship. Um, so you can absolutely sprint off towards the med bay. It's at the other end of this um, uh, floor that you're on where the mess hall is, um, which is kind of one level down. Um, and you sprint off towards the med bay. You know this way, but like the back of your hand, you're able to sprint there and back by the time the rest of the group is making their way towards the ladders. As much as there was commotion in the mess hall, as you guys approach the ladders down towards the engine room and the stairs, it's very quiet where Dimitri had said that there had been commotion. And you can hear steam. You can hear whistling in the pipes. But as you um, approach, it's quiet. How, how does the the read a bad situation, do I just like say and do oh, that? Yeah. Or like, if you would like to read a bad situation, you can just okay. tell me that you want to do that and like roll for that. it. Cool. All right. Can I click on this? No, I roll sharp. Click. Yeah. An eight. Um, with an eight. Um, for read a bad situation. I've got to pull up my It says thing. hold one. Yes, on a you'll seven hold, eight, hold one. Yeah, you'll hold one. Um, okay. So that means that you will have plus one to a future roll because it was mm -hmm. a success. Um, mm -hmm. And the basic things that you're going to get. It's not a total success. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm pulling up all my things. Do, 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 do. Where Can I use my... that one on any other roll? It's on any roll in the future, um, basically. And uh, you can choose what you would like to do. So if you're reading a bad situation, uh, you've only gotten eight. Uh, so you'll hold one and you can ask me one of the questions. Um, you can, uh, that hold can, you can spend on asking any of those ones. You can ask me one question. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what the, are there any dangers that we haven't noticed yet? There are. That's um, oh, that's how that works. Okay. No, no, no. I will explain. <laughs> okay. okay. As you guys are, are, are moving down these stairs and you're entering into where the engine room is, it's a bit of a mess down here. Like the engine room is normally very loud. There's cranking machinery. Um, the steam turbines are going. The furnace is burning, and there's just steam everywhere. You know that there are some pipes too hot to touch. You do not want to get close to them, and they're almost crisscrossing in various places on the walls and above your head. Um, and you almost have to like duck down under a few of them. And as you're looking around, you see that n a few of the pipes are dented and like spewing more steam than they should. Um, and you definitely, that's a problem. Like steam bad, don't get in it. It's powering the ship. It's super hot. Uh, don't get near that. That's fairly basic. As you continue on, there's no one in the engine room. Can I? And that's not right. that's not right. That shouldn't be happening. Hmm. Can can, can more than one person read a bad situation? I don't. So know. You can read a bad situation, or you can investigate a mystery. So there's not currently anyone around that you can see. The danger you notice were the hot pipes that you definitely want to avoid um, mm -hmm. currently. But as you're looking into this engine room, there's a lot of machinery, there's a lot of metal, there's a lot of steam, but it's quiet other than the furnace going and then the steam turbines. That's it. Um, the room is fairly large. It's like there's a couple catwalks um, up above you on two layers to get to the top of the engine and it's just a long room where the engine is straight in the middle and a couple large pipes feeding into it. Um, you would have to do a navigation around the engine to get a whole scope of the room. I grab Adric's arm and just whisper to him, Darling, do you feel 
strong enough. Uh, I didn't get to finish eating in there. I was almost done my meal, but slim pickings today. I'll be fine. Just re- rely on me when you need to, okay? Thank you. Keep your wits about. Um. <clears throat> Sorry. You are free to explore the room. Is that like sure you should be here? She is fine. She is very capable. Okay. I believe I may even outrank you, so she's... I can vouch for uh, her here. Ad- Adric, Adric, it's okay. I, I, I did not mean any insults. She's just... I thought she was just a singer. I'll go look. <laughs> you know, I won't even take that to offense, but... I can take care of myself. Trust me, Sasha. I'm more worried about what's going on here. It seems mysterious. Krutova, what do you think? Krutova is like hanging off of <laughs> Sasha. Like, oh, it's so scary. <laughs> um, just like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, I mean, we better be very careful. There's all this steam everywhere for moving through here. We, we, should, we should watch out. Maybe a uh, move in groups, maybe a line. I can go with you, Sasha, and you two can go together. Body system. Mm-hmm. Just nothing to stab yourself with here, okay? So, you know, just just be extra careful, you know. Oh, that reminds me. I have bandages. <laughs> oh, <else>. thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, Adric's going to pull out a pistol. Um, just keep it low he's got a sec- his hand on top of it and i'd like to start moving down uh one of the walls uh uh into like the, the steam and stuff and see further into what i can see perfect love that yeah um, I'm gonna head out i'd be following yeah are you guys going adric and zarya one side of the engine and uh sasha and krutov on the other okay um, Unless the, I lose sight of Sasha. I want to keep Sasha just in eye line. You roughly. will get to a point in this where the engine will be blocking you. If you're if you're moving equally and as, as as equal time as you walk by, you will be briefly blocked by this very large engine. Um and you'd have to wait until you, you meet at the other side. Um you can choose to move at whatever pace you want to. Um, it will kind of impact what you're doing. I would speed up a bit. As soon as I lose sight, I would want to speed up a bit just to be able to catch sight again. Um, yeah. Yeah. I would um, like to investigate mm-hmm. a mystery. Let's try to figure out what's happening. Perfect. Why do don't you roll that for me? It. As, uh, I'll, I'll kind of describe what, what you guys see on both sides. Um, so as you're investigating a mystery, uh, I'll give you the description and then you can choose what question you'd like to pick if you get to pick. Um, and uh, so both of these sides of the engine room, it's fairly scattered. Like this is a completely metal room. It's, there's some clanging. You can hear some of like bubbles in the pipes. There's a furnace burning at the far end of the room. And this place is weirdly quiet. There's usually people up and down the catwalks. And as you guys are moving around, you see that there are like things strewn across the floor. It looks like uh, papers have been thrown. You see some hammers and wrenches kind of where they shouldn't be. There, there's one almost right in the middle of the walkway. And as you look up, you can also see that there's similar kind of distress in the catwalks above you. Um, and Zarya and Adric, you're moving a little too fast because you want to get to the end of the hallway to see um, to turn the corner and see Sasha and Krutova. But Sasha and Krutova, you absolutely notice as you're moving a little bit slower that there's some blood on some of these pipes. And there's... Sasha, you would know this because you're a medic. It almost looks like... It's not a swipe of blood because these pipes are hot. Like, almost like a burnt-in handprint on one of them as it drags down the pipe. Um, And it looks like there are dents here and there. And as you approach the end of the hallway, you notice from further away, but Zarya and Adric, you don't, as you're focused too much on that, that there are feet under one of the pipes, like someone's laying down under one of them at the far end of the engine. Oh, shit. Um, so what was your role for Investigate a Mystery? That's an eight. An eight. 
Um, on a seven to a nine, hold one. You can ask one of the questions, um, but you won't get a plus one if you act on it because it's a different thing. Um, so you can ask me one question, which is, um, well, can I can I hold on to it until I see what happened to this person, or should I wait? Yeah, or can you can I, like apply this because I want to to see if this person is alive. If I'm okay. guessing they've been crushed, but. Yeah, you can absolutely hold on to it as you get a little bit closer. Um, so you guys approach this um, uh, where these feet are. They're kind of almost like they're shoved under one of the pipes um, that feeds into the actual engine. Um, they're, the top half of their body is kind of obscured as they're like pressed under it. He's on his stomach and it looks like he had been crawling under. It's, he's head first under this pipe um, and there's 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 blood on his jacket and there's blood on his trousers, um, and it almost looks like someone has been pulling at his boots. Can I see his head? Only if you were to duck down and like look under the pipe. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like to to try to get him out or see what's happening, see if he's still alive. Yeah, you duck down, um, and you're looking just for his head. Um, and as you kind of like lay on the ground, you put your he- like head on the floor to try and peer under. Um, you do see that he's uh, his 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 head is under there. Um, you can kind of see like one half of his face. Um, it looks like he has a gash on his forehead um, and like a cut down his jaw. Um, and there's a uh, like a, a a hammer next to where his head is under this um, pipe and. Doesn't look like he's breathing. In fact, you kind of notice that his eyes might be open and vacant. Okay. Um, well, I will I will use my hold then for what happened here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kind of get to use a bunch of stuff. Love this. As you're face on the ground. Zarya and Adric, you approach and you you get around the corner just in time to see Krutova probably like standing over Sasha as yeah. he's laying on the ground, like peering <laughs> under this giant pipe where there are two boots just under, like sticking out, which is like a scene, clearly. It's just um, probably like doing one of these and then, oh, hey. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so you see Krutova like going for him and then you come around the corner um, and Sasha... You're not aware of any of this. No, no, no re- reason to worry at all. Because as you're on the ground looking, uh, and you you're kind of looking at this guy's head, you see two feet by his head, like on the ground, which is, should be impossible because there's an engine right there. And as you're laying on the ground, the feet start stepping forward and moving. Um. I'd stand up and back away. Yeah, and as you back away. Yeah, do you say anything? Well, I like, excuse me, because there's a person. Oh, excuse me. (laughs) Hold on. Yeah. I know what supernatural things are. (laughs) You back away real fast and go, excuse me. Out, like, from the engine, you guys can almost see, like, pieces of a person as it, like, moves through the pipe, and it steps forward through the rest of the pipe, and you see feet first, these scuffed um, leather boots, and a faded blue uniform, except this guy looks like he's been drenched in steam. He's, like, practically dripping. Pieces of his skin are torn, his eyes are a little bloodshot and red, and he steps through the pipe and he looks at all of you. Shoot him. He, you shoot him? I want to shoot him. Okay, uh, roll the kicks to that. Okay, I want to like be, I want to be like, I want to squat down so I can like hide a little bit and then shoot him. I don't yeah, know if absolutely. this is like, I don't think he's, is he unsuspecting? I don't know. He's looking at you guys. He just walked through a pipe and yeah, is just so- like looking around, but you can try and shoot him. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Adric's hand goes out onto Zarya's shoulder and just looks at her like with this like what the hell mo- moment. 
Yeah. Uh, so. Seven plus inflict harm. So uh, yeah, on a seven, uh, you and whatever you're fighting inflict harm on each other. Uh, on oh, each other, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, usually means you're gonna in- you're gonna inflict some harm. What are you? So you're shooting at him. Yes, um, I have a revolver. You have a revolver. How much harm does that do? One. One harm. Uh, you raise your like you crouch down. You raise your gun. You shoot this guy as he's literally phasing through a pipe at you, mm-hmm. and it. Just like, he's mine! Like, does he look corporeal, or does he look kind of transparent? Oh no, he just walked like, physically through a yeah. pipe. He, once he's out of the pipe, he looks corporeal. It looks like he is literally just, like, pieces of him are missing as he's going through the pipe, and once he's out of it, he, he's there. Um, but as you shoot him, it hits, and then you hear a ping as it hits the pipe behind him and rolls on the ground, and he looks what? down, and he's like, why did you sink us? And he reaches for you uh, oh, and, hey. and like grabs you by the scruff of your neck and just tosses you. Ta-da! And you hit a pipe um, and you take one harm. Zarya okay. just says, Sasha, get away from there. And then her eyes glow this kind of like icy blue and I am going to try to cast out evil. Ooh, please tell me one what that is and uh what 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 it does i may banish an unnatural creature from my presence so i have to roll tough and different things happen depending on the roll oh that's good Ooh, okay. Okay. Roll yet. Ooh, nice. on, a 10. <laughs> on a 10 plus it is banished oh hey. it's it's just banished yeah Please, okay, so you just watched your your compatriot here shoot this thing, the bullet just kind of roll out from him, and he tossed her. How do you banish him? What would, how would you like to attempt to banish him? I guess kind of, I, I don't want to use something trademarked, but I guess some, you know, shimmery force energy just kind of thrown at him, and just be gone! Yeah, you... <laughs> I'm assuming everyone, maybe Kristova does not see this as you literally hit a pipe, Uh, but Zarya raises her hands, the shimmering energy gets thrown at this guy, it hits him full in the face, and he blinks, and he opens his mouth, and water just starts pouring out of it, and he turns and looks at you, and you hear a shriek as he starts backing up back into the engine and starts moving very quickly and you hear shouts in German and he's yelling, the spy is here, get them. And he runs, he's he's disappeared into the engine and you hear clattering and banging in the furnace as two more figures step out of the fire. I'm like backing up, like Sasha. I didn't just get back. Could you tell stay back there? What the hell? Could yeah. are you okay? No. Seriously, this time you got fucking thrown. Get up. Like, Start trying to grab her. Pull her along. While they're so, frantically can doing things, you? can I <laughs> step back a couple steps? Where I'm out of view from, I all, if, if Zarya can see me, that's fine. But everyone else, I want to make sure, can't see me as I move around the edge of the engine. And I'm going to stick my face through the wall of the engine as well to look to see if I can see where that thing went. Absolutely. And if it's gone or if there are more. As you... my face comes close to the metal, it the, the, the ghostness of me kind of like the, the white just kind of starts to go almost incorporeal as well as I press into it. Right yeah, so you hear this commotion, you, st- you press your face through the engine. Could you roll to use some magic? So you roll plus weird. Ten. Ten! On a ten, the magic works without any issues. You get to choose your effect. Um, All right. So uh, I, I, I think I know what you might want, but you can choose any of those effects on some using some magic. Um, oh, I, I, that's right. I should look at this. Uh, this sh- yes, so you magic. can inflict harm. You can enchant a weapon. You can do oh. one thing that is beyond human limitation. Bar a place or portal to a specific person or type of creature. Trap a specific person. Banish a spirit or curse. Summon okay. a monster. Communicate. 
observe or heal. Okay, this is, I'm 100% doing this as an observe kind of thing. So I'm look, I'm pressing into it. I'm not going all the way in, but my, my, uh, if Zarya is looking, you know, everything kind of, my face seems to elongate even farther beyond human uh, possibilities for a moment as I kind of stretch into this thing. Um, and my hands kind of reach in for a moment, these, my long fingers and I, on the inside of the engine, and I'm looking to see where that guy went and if there are more i'm trying to look through the space of solid objects in this room as much as possible to see what are the threats how many are there and do i kind of does this look familiar uh yeah Yeah. (laughs) so you're peering into the engine and you're looking for where this thing went and i love the effect that you picked because you have observe another place or time you're literally looking through the engine um this is going to include another role uh uh but uh, as you peer into this, the, the commotion behind you, as your your companions are going to have to deal with whatever is coming out of this furnace, you hear shouting, and it's multiple voices, and they're kind of very distant as you're looking for this thing, and you see just the edges of this guy's back as he's moving, but he's not moving through the engine. Um, as he's continuing on, it almost looks like he's going down a hallway. It's a very narrow space. He's almost got to, like, duck under as he's moving through this tight hallway, and people are pushing past him, um, and he's shouting and waving his arms and and yelling in German for, get out, get out, um, go up, go up, and you look down and you notice that there's, you, you can see water, but you can't hear it rising on the floor, and he's, this guy is just running full tilt, and two figures are running towards you, um, and... You can, if you'd like to, read a bad situation I'd to try to. and understand this or investigate a mystery. Mm. Um, it depends on what kind of question you would like to ask. Yeah, I'm less inclined to know the why and when of this sh- weird ship that I'm seeing and more what is the threat that we're about to face. So I would think read a bad situation is more what I'm looking at. Okay, um, um, so that'll which, be roll plus sharp. Sharp, thank you. Ooh, 10. Nice. 10. Ooh, the 10 crew here. Uh, on a 10, you get to hold three. So you get to ask me three questions. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, um, you can ask me any of those three questions on that list. Oh, right. Uh, I'm looking. Sorry. So what's my best way in? What's my best way out? Any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest okay. threat? What's most vulnerable to me? Or what's the best way to protect the victims? Okay, that's my first question. What's the best way to protect Zarya and anyone she wants to protect? Okay. As you... So the, that's your first question. As you look and you're watching this happen and you're... you're you kind of know that what you're seeing is not happening and where you are, but you, you briefly saw the two coming out of the firmness and you see the two that are coming towards you in this weird, very cramped space. Um, and they don't look fully there you know what incorporeal creatures look like and feel like because you can do that um and these guys look like they can just phase right through things um and so the best way of protecting the victims is to neutralize these two guys coming out of wherever it is that they're coming out um, okay uh because um, they've been ordered to move uh i will uh i will ask then for the other two um uh, it's kind of uh, I'm happy to use both of them what's my best way in and what's my best way out is more of a question of do I feel like this space that I'm looking into this sudden hallway and thing is something that I could somehow pull my allies into to join me in there in that space or is this like I'm somehow seeing something that there's no physical way to get in there uh, we should prepare for them coming out as you're looking into this you can tell that if you wanted to, you could probably see more. You could move further into this space through the engine and follow this guy. You're pretty sure that unless uh, Zarya or or Sasha Kratova can also do similar things to what you can do, it's not good. And as you look down, you're, you can literally see that there's water rising fast wherever okay. it is. And there's almost like a siren sound, like a klaxon going off in the distance above your head. Um, this does not seem like a safe way to go in and get them to safety. It would almost be more danger. 
Okay. Um, for what's your best way out? Um, if that's still the question that you'd like to ask, are you asking to get out of where you're looking at or the situation behind you? No, I think I think what I'd like to do now is just figure out. I'd like I, I will probably pull out uh, of the of the space, and I would like to try to uh, know. I'm going to yell to Zardia. Uh, we have been on many adventures together, and I would hope we can communicate well. And basically, like Zardia, two threats incoming, uh, and I would like to be able to just like like get back to a place where as things come out, I can we're in a position to not be vulnerable, like not so they can grab us as they come out, but that we can see them as they come out. That's my Yeah, absolutely. And your your best way out of this is to move backwards towards the way you came and get up that ladder because as you turn, you can now see the two figures stepping out of the furnace almost. It wasn't the direction that you had actually seen them come, but it's the same two figures that were running at you. Those two things are now coming out of the furnace. It's almost like the space isn't matching up um, with what you saw and what you actually know you're in. So the best way out is to go back the way you came um, there is a ladder up on the catwalk that could take you up to the top deck, but you'd have to get up to the catwalk and there's a couple ladders um, and you'd have to move past these guys um, okay. to do that. And so that's what you know. You now have a plus one um, in the situation that you can apply to things just like Kratova does. Um, and everyone else, you you definitely turn and see these two figures dressed very similarly to the guy that just went screaming through the engine. Um, step out and they they're looking at you they have guns drawn and their hands are shaking as they're doing so um and they're kind of looking around very quickly and he's like uh one of them steps forward and goes identify yourselves is what um is he another ghost in the blue uniform he's in, he is in that uniform and he just stepped out of the furnace which is closed and burning and I'm he still looks wet. Suggest that I might need to just act under pressure to not lose my shit because I have seen these uniforms in awful visions. Hey, that's a great point. Absolutely act under pressure to not do things. Set the fuck Oh no. Has Sasha only rolled fives today? He's rolled one eight and oh, three yeah. fives. Now, yeah. one thing I was gonna say is that like Zadio would be moving quickly, but talking very like calmly, and would want to actually soothe Sasha and and Kurtoba, I guess. Try and help. <laughs> but yeah, like just trying to be like, we're we're going to move. We're going to walk quickly what and calmly and go this to... way. We are going to leave these guys. We are going to back away <laughs> and we're walking. And we're walking. Uh, so was reloading her gun. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. I love this scene. Zarya, so can you roll to help out? Um, yeah. you're gonna roll plus cool. You got it. <laughs> we'll see if I'm actually cool. Oh, hey, hey. Cool. Um, on a 10 plus your help grants them a plus one to their roll that's it's enough failure. to do a six unfortunately that's, that's not enough to do. failure yeah and i think at this point like so you're really trying like this is your jam you know how to calm people down but sasha is like not fully listening to you because he's yep. he has recognized at least what these guys are wearing and a little bit of like somewhat of what's happening and so sasha what would what would Sasha do in this situation? If he's scared of, and uh, get in a as pretty far nasty away spot. as possible, cool. um, vaguely aware that like Krutova is hurt and therefore she needs to get out too. So he's just like mm-hmm. got one hand on her and then the rest of his brain is get out and what the hell is happening? Absolutely. Now, on a five, you're not going to be able to do the thing that you need to do. No. You're not going to be able to get out. Um, and almost, really, on a 7 to 9, I'm going to give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or a price to pay. I'm going to give you a choice between the two. Okay. You can make a hard... You're already going to get the worse outcome. It's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can choose if you'd like to also make a hard choice or a price to pay as an extra bit of spice. Hold on, let me, let me remind myself of his, uh... <laughs> Let's do price to pay. Price to pay. You are panicking. This is 
way too much. Your dreams are coming into reality, but also coming through a furnace. This is a lot for you to handle. And you know that you need to absolutely get out. If you want to get out, you're going to have to drop your stuff and run and hope that you're going to be able to make it out without getting, like, drawing attention to yourself or worse. Okay. And as you're doing that, you you drop your things and you turn to run and immediately you remember the vision of Dr. Krasnov in your dream turning to run and a shot ringing out and as soon as you start stepping forward you hear almost like this echoey boom and you get hit in the back of the shoulder as one of these guys notices you run and immediately fired off a shot um, and you mm-hmm. are going mm-hmm. to take uh, to harm okay no Sasha. Um, it's weird though like you get hit there's no there's no exit wound and as you reach back there's no entry wound either it just feels like you got shot but there's nothing there um and you stumble forward um and you you kind of like hit your knees on the ground and you're not actually moving any further and all of you have watched this happen because this guy has yelled identify yourselves sasha turned to run as zarya was trying to calm him down and he just hit the ground as this other guy points his gun and fires what would you like to do oh uh kritova is again going to yell he's mine and try to kick the gun out of the guy's hand (laughs) Cool! Uh, you're gonna try yeah. to kick the gun out of his hand. Yes. He's mine, I love it. I'm gonna ask you a question here. Yes. For Kratova. Are you yes. trying to protect someone or are you acting under pressure? I think I think I am I did say he's I think I'm trying to help like protect uh, Sasha, because he's, he's he's my target, not that guy's. <laughs> Absolutely. Are yeah. you intending to try and like hurt this thing too, or just uh, help Sasha? Just get rid of the gun so that we can run get without getting shot at. Okay, yep. I would like you to roll plus tough. Okay. As you try and roundhouse okay. kick this guy's gun out of his hand. Yes. Um, so when I have that little hold thing, can I wait until after I roll to see if I want to add it, or do I have to say it before? Um, you can wait until after. Okay, cool. I don't mind. Is that the actual Monster of the Week rules? I don't know. I don't <laughs> mind giving you a okay. giving you. Uh, does the plus one change anything? No. Um, for a seven, no. no. Uh, it would you'd have to get to a ten. So, but you do have a seven plus. So yeah. you're going to protect them, okay? Um, you're going to manage to kick this guy. It almost feels like you're kicking something through sand because your like foot hits his hand, and then it moves through a lot sooner than you thought it would. Uh, he does move. He does like drop his gun. It doesn't make a sound as it hits the ground. Does not at all. Um, and he's kind of reels back. Um, and you manage to jump backwards. Um. And and this guy isn't pointing anything at Sasha anymore, so you've managed to at least distract him. Um, Good. Yeah. Then going to push Sasha. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> did did Sasha fall? Like, did you fall from the impact, or did you, like just stumbled, kind of, you know, still walking? I think, I think he probably just like hit the ground for a hot second. Yeah, he pushed his nose again. Oh, it's a bad it's a pipe. day. Bust his nose. Fresh yeah. blood you'd wiped away when you got yeah. it. Back at it. I would kind of summon some of that shimmery stuff on my hand and like with kind of one hand on Kutova, just like encouraging her to, but then putting out my shimmery hand to Sasha to get up. I'd like to <laughs> cast lay on hands, if that's possible, to try to what heal. Is your, what is your divine move for that? It's cool. Um, you can heal? When you lay your hands on someone hurt, roll plus cool, and then it has the different... I can only hurt people. That's so cool. I mean, you picked a specific thing. Uh, Well, I'm the worst protector in life because... 
Oh no! I caused you extra harm. I <laughs> Oh, oh man! But it still was so mad. <laughs> I will remind you in this moment of luck points. You don't have. I stopped counting correctly. Seven. You don't have seven. You have four, but you okay. do have luck points, where you can use luck to change it to a twelve. Can I do that? Yes, you can do that. So, um, so that, okay. you you have four luck points. You've used one. You now have three. So yeah. if if you want to try and use a twelve, you just got three left. Um, on a ten plus, you're going to heal two harm or an illness. So you reach down and you just like completely miss Sasha with that. He's he like is rolling out of the way trying to get to his feet, so, and he's yeah, just like he's still no, trying to roll. No, no. <laughs> um, and it feels like you've almost wasted it, and you just roll your eyes, grab Sasha a little firmer, and you're like, okay, I got him. Um, and Sasha, you feel so much better. There's still, like, no wound on you, but you can, you feel like you can move your shoulder. She feels a little less like you aren't shot anymore, and you healed for two, you healed too hard. Cool. And I'm just gonna try to usher, like, Krutova, Sasha, let's, let go. Like, we need, we need to keep moving away. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, gonna Y'all are running? try to run yep. again. Run. Cool, run. Yep. Um, all I'm of kind of mean... running like this, though, like facing, like running backwards, kind of, to keep mm -hmm. Edric in my sight as well as the ghosties. Absolutely. I would like all of you to act under pressure for me. So you're going to roll plus Duh. cool to see how Watch well me you... Watch me plan again. Don't, don't do it. You have luck! <laughs> Hey, a nine! A nine, okay, that's good. Yeah, I should use my luck, I was thinking a about A nine, that. a ten, an eleven, and a three. And a three. I, will, I will, I will use a luck point, because okay. everyone else succeeded, so I'll join them. It cool. Would, not oh, cool. relative success, yeah. Yeah, so you guys are like, fuck this noise, as uh, the you see one of the, go the ghosts who got his gun kicked out of his hand go down for it, and the other one turns uh, and you just book it. Kristova, you and Sasha, you like clamber on, probably grab onto him and start moving. Zarya's backing away. Adric, you stumble, like you're kind of disoriented as you're trying to re figure out exactly where you are. Um, and you realize you kind of like knock into the engine, but Adric. if you're still a little like your arm just kind of moves oh, through it. Face through, yeah. And you manage to right yourself and keep moving. Um, Zarya, you hear as you're backing away and you're still looking um, that these guys go, one of them might be the spy. We'll get them. And one of them moves like he's going to go towards you before you hit the end of the engine hall. You got to go around the corner and climb up the ladder. Um, you, you know that the ladder up out of here, there's a door that you can close. Um, you had to open it to get down here. Um, and... You could close it behind you if you wanted to. How 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 are you getting up this ladder? Who's going first? Unless someone stops him, Sasha will. He's still in blind panic run mode. Cool. Yeah. Sasha's scrambling up laughing. there. Christova, you're just like trying to sort, maybe boost him. You still aren't sure if you're actually trying to help Sasha or not, but you're just like shoving him. Um, going for a certain situation, you know? <laughs> uh... Zarya and Adric, who goes first among you two? I think I'd probably be next, like trying to like usher and, and soothe when I can, like using that to be like, it's okay, you know, one, one hand at a time, one leg at a time, it's okay, it's just up, just go up to them, like just trying to soothe them and then watching for Edric as well, like kind of per yeah. in between. Edric will be right behind. Absolutely. Um, after Hugh's luck, Sasha. You rolled a nine. Mm -hmm. I need you to choose another worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. Actually, if can I? Oh, is you it worth? If you want to use luck? luck, you can use luck. I I do kind of want to use a luck luck to okay. just. Uh, Absolutely, you you just managed to go then. Um, yeah. Also, I want you to throw up. something at me. Um, as as luck happens. Well, that's that's the 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 part of the chosen one is um, whenever you mark off a point of luck, the keeper will throw something from your fate at you. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Every time, I, I love it. I, that's why I asked, are you using luck? I have um, something too, oops. Um, <laughs> ooh, what happens when you use luck, Zarya? I get word that my mission requires something difficult that must be done by me urgently. Oh, perfect. You know, this is this is great okay. to have right at the same time. Sasha, as you're scrambling up, you hit the ladder, you like stumble, you're, you're, you're trying to get there, but you yank yourself back up, you feel this kind of burst of strength, um, and you blink as you reach for the door, and you remember feeling the hands on your ankles, and instead of like that feeling of like, oh god, there was cold dread at, uh, uh, in your vision, you feel burning, and you hear in the back of your mind an explosion. It does nothing actually happens. You just hear it and you feel it. Uh, Zarya, mm -hmm. uh, your reaction to this as you're moving around and, and and getting things to work, and you're still you feel a little bit of the wind taken out of you as you had helped Sasha. Um, you hear a small voice in the back of your head say, "Get him off the boat, no matter what." no matter what. And okay. you hear that. Um, yes. Keeper, I realize I also have a luck thing that happens. Y'all! I mean, it's just like, luck. I mean, I have a luck thing, but I haven't used any of it yet. So. No, you haven't needed to use your luck. Christopher's doing yeah. great. Just, when yeah, you spend a point of luck, your monster side gains power. Your curse may become stronger or another breed disadvantage may manifest. And I, I mean, I'll just add this in. You can do whatever you want, but stomach's just gurgling, just, just growling. Oh yeah, absolutely. As you had kind of like gone through, your arm had pulled out your feeling. You like, you, you mentioned to Zarya that you hadn't gotten enough to eat um, that for, for lunch. And as you're climbing up, you're realizing as you're getting above uh, towards where the rest of the people are. It's almost like you can feel where everyone in the ship is. You're hungry. It's it's almost all you can think about. Like It's not going to overtake you yet, but you are very aware of how hungry you are. Um, and so as you all get up uh, uh, out of the hatch, you slam the door closed, and you're now in this hallway not totally alone, like, you hear people off in the mess, um, you know the first officer is up with the captain, uh, Dr. Krasnov is off with the, um, engineer who had fainted, um, and there are two weird people in the engine room that had tried to kill you, and definitely did kill one of the engineers. What, where are you going next? And I'm going to pause here, and we're going to take a brief break to reorient ourselves and we will come back in just a moment grab a snicker scott it's okay <laughs> you hungry such a dingo when you're hungry <laughs> <laughs> such a monster you know when I mean? you're hungry <laughs> yes 